Uh, my name is Dick Reinbold and I live at 4633 Kings Road. It's uh, my third house uh, since I've lived in the city of Canton and the only rule I ever had was that I would live in the city of Canton. So it wasn't whether I'm going to move to Jackson or Plain, it was where in the city am I going to move. And every time I got to the point where I could afford a better house, that was the decision was where in the city am I going to move. And so I feel honored to be a resident of this particular city. I'm going to give two insights that I think might come at it from a different angle. I was a judge who wrote the opinion on the manufactured home case. And the manufactured home case was presented as to whether or not the city of Kent had a right to decide what type of housing was going to be allowed in the city. I ruled the city of Kent had the right to make that decision. I got reversed by the 5th District Court of the but I was upheld by the Supreme Court. But what I found as I followed this case throughout, the legislators in Columbus weren't really voting whether or not manufactured housing should be in the city of Canton. What they were voting for are the lobbyists from the manufactured homes who gave them money to vote to put these homes in cities so that the manufactured people who build them make money. There was a concern about housing in the cities, it was concerned about selling the manufactured homes. You've got to look at the motive for the people in Columbus who are passing laws that bind you to act on their will to make their life easier, not your life. I had the pleasure of working with uh, Mayor Creighton a couple of years ago. And the chief of police and her came to uh, loggerheads as to how a city should be run in regards to the police department. I've been in law enforcement for, it seems to me, 100 years. And there is so much literature out there as to how to attack crime in a city. It's not rest everybody and throw them in jail. There's enlightened views. There's other ways to attack a problem. We know just for drug use as an example. But if the chief of police decides he doesn't want to do it, there's nothing the mayor can make him do. So here we have an elected official arguing with an appointed a civil service official over how our city should run from the criminal justice system. Whether you want to give the mayor that much power or not, we deserve to have a right to talk about it. We deserve the right from all of you to sit down and try and form a commission. We deserve that. And all of the folks behind me have said to you nothing more than, we deserve that. You have a duty to vote to let us argue this out, make decisions, and as you know, you'll have the final say as everybody's brought out. So I strongly urge all of you here tonight to support this, vote for it, and let us, the people of the city of Canton, make that final decision. Thank you.